Facebook recently announced a brand new set of campaign objectives inside of their ad manager. Now, where there used to be multiple columns of objectives, they've now narrowed it down to six that you can choose from. So today we're gonna walk through these new objectives, take a look at how they compare to the old objectives and figure out which one we need to use to continue to drive traffic to Spotify in the future. Now, if you're new here, my name's Tom, and on this channel, we talk about music marketing, branding, business, and a host of other things that are going to help us move from making music as a hobby to making music as a business. And today, we're going to dig into Facebook's new campaign objectives inside of the ad manager. Now, before we hop into it, if you don't see these new objectives when you log into your Facebook business manager, that's okay. As with most things, Facebook is rolling this out over time to specific users in specific locations and not giving it to everybody all at once. So in the event that you don't have these yet, the old rules still apply, but you can still watch this video. That way you're prepared for when the change inevitably does come for you as it will for all of us. So here in the ad manager, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the green create button at the top so we can take a look at these new campaign objectives. All of these changes happen at the campaign level. It does filter down to the ad set and ad level a little bit, depending on what you pick. Basically, Facebook is trying to make things easier on all of us by pre-selecting and pre-populating a bunch of different things to make our lives easier. As they say at the top here, we've simplified the campaign objectives to make it easier to find one that aligns with your business goals. Cool. Thanks, we'll take it. If you hover over everything, you can see what each one of these little objectives is good for compared to the old objectives. So awareness is good for reach and brand awareness. Traffic is good for link clicks and landing page views. Engagement is for messages, video views, likes, comments, and shares. Leads is for instant forms, messages, calls, and signups. Apps is for app installs and events. And then sales is for conversions, catalog sales, and messages. At first glance, you might think, well, we should use sales because it has conversions listed. You can get there from there, but there's another way you can get there as well. So rather than try to describe it myself, let's go to the top and we'll select take a tour and then we'll walk through picking uh, the conversion objective and see what Facebook has to tell us about it. So this is the old screen that we're used to, right? We've got awareness, consideration, and conversion. And the big change obviously has happened under the consideration column here they split all those up into more precise categories based on what your objective is. But since we use conversions to drive traffic to Spotify, we're gonna select conversions and we're gonna select continue. So here they're gonna walk us through what to use and for what. We've got choose sales if you wanna use a conversion event such as purchase, add to cart, or checkout. Then we've got choose leads if your goal is to generate leads. So if we're trying to build our email list, this is a great one to select. The first one sales is great for you know, trying to sell merch. And then lastly, we've got choose engagement if you want to use a conversion event such as view content, subscribe, or search. Now, even though sales seems like it might be the one to use because it has conversions listed, engagement probably is the better one because we are using the view content event. But just to showcase it, we're gonna choose sales first and walk through doing it that way because technically you can do the same thing going through sales. And then we'll come back and we'll select engagement and see how the two compare. So we're gonna continue with sales. And just kind of peeking at the campaign level here, you can see that the objective is sales. We're gonna leave our catalog off and we're gonna go next to the ad set level because this is kind of where it's gonna to start to be a little different. So we've got website, which is where we want our conversion event to happen. And they've already populated the conversion event with add to cart. We don't wanna use that. We wanna use view content. We're gonna scroll down past all this stuff. All this stuff stays the same. Obviously we'll select manual placements because that's just how we roll here on this channel. And then we'll select next. But before we do that, we'll confirm that optimization for ad delivery is conversions here at the bottom. So go next to the ad level. Now here's where they've pre-selected a bunch of stuff for us because they think we're trying to sell merch because we selected sales. We'll select my Instagram page just to get rid of this uh, little message here. And they've already got dynamic formats and creative selected. They've selected my catalog for my merch and stuff. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna select single image or video. And then I'm gonna delete this media catalog thing here. And now we're at the place where we're used to being when we start a new campaign and get to the ad level, right? Assuming we're starting from scratch and not duplicating everything, which I recommend. And if you wanna know more about that, you can check out this video right here. Uh, if we're starting from scratch, this is kind of where we usually end up at the ad level. So not a whole lot's changed, but you do have to deselect some stuff if you select the sales objective. But what if we do engagement? 
Let's go back and select that one. So we'll go back to uh, the main window here. We'll close this. We'll discard this draft because we definitely don't need it. And we'll click create once again. And this time we're gonna select engagement because that's the one we wanna try this time around. As Facebook said, this one's good for the view content event. So we're gonna select continue and we see that our objective is engagement and everything's here stays the same at the campaign level. So we'll go next to the ad set level. Now they've pre-populated the kind of engagement they think maybe we might want. So they've got the engagement, the conversion location, the engagement happening on your ad and they've selected video views as the engagement type. You know, we can do post engagements, event responses as well but we wanna do website because that's where we want the pixel to fire. So when we do that, it starts to look very familiar. We've got our pixel and then the conversion event is empty. So we can X that out. We'll select view content because that's the one we wanna use. And then when we come back down through it, everything stays the same, manual placements because again, that's how we roll. And optimization for ad delivery once again is conversions. But then fortunately, when we get to the ad level, it doesn't have all this pre-populated stuff for merch. It's kind of basically the same setup that we're used to. So it's like one less step than doing it through sales, but this way is just a little bit cleaner and you don't have to get rid of all the sales type stuff uh, for your catalog and all that kind of stuff. So this is what Facebook is moving toward, a more streamlined experience, an easier experience, and trying to sort of guess ahead of time and fill in a bunch of stuff for us to make our lives easier. So we'll see how this plays out. These are our new objectives. If you have them, start using them. If you don't, look for it in the future. I'm sure it's going to roll out to everybody eventually. As you can see, nothing to be daunted by. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup process as we had before, just a little bit of reconfiguration at the top. Now, before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple other videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.